Rusky's Crypto Cave here, and today we are doing the video for March profitability. Uh, March ended yesterday, today is April 1st. This is not an April's full video or anything like that. Uh, I'm not creative enough really to come up with any goofy jokes for that type of stuff. So let's get right into it. I'll start off with talking about some of the changes for March. Um, one of the big ones, um, I was switched off my unlimited plan to a fixed rate for three months. Um, it started first, second week of March, somewhere around that range. Uh, so I, I didn't get the entire month on the unlimited, uh, but I wasn't on the entire month on the fixed rate plan either. The fixed rate plan will come out to roughly 11 to 12 cents ish for an entire month. Um, and when we, once we get to my the electric portion of this, we'll see uh, what my electric rate ended up being. The other thing I did switch over my 60 Ti rigs to my Meow coin. Um, at first, it was on uh, Kapow, and then March 18th, I think it was somewhere around there, they switched to Meow Pow. Uh, so it's a little bit, little bit more power efficient. Um, hash rate got better, but I kept the power limit on the cards about the same. So their 1660 Ti's are pulling about. 80 watts or so, somewhere around that range, um, whereas they were power limited to 90 watts on Kapow. The other thing, I switched my 2080 Ti rig over to Radiant um, from mine in Dynex before, which I also just recently switched that. Uh, was it last night? Yeah, I think it was last night. I may have done it. I um, switched the 2080 Ti's over to Pyron, and then what the game plan is to mine Pyron because it's the most profitable, and then swap into Radiant basically, just because probably two two and a half times as profitable to mine pyron with the 2080 ti's as it is to mine radiant and then just mine it to non-kyc i guess is the exchange and then swap it into usdt then usdt to radiant uh, so that will that's the game plan there um the other part is the mobile rewards have bit with all the hips and 103 and all that kind of crap uh, the mobile rewards have dropped substantially and uh, we'll cover that briefly. I'll probably do a separate video just on that. Um, I won't show my area just because I don't want to dox myself, but um, I am not in a metro area or an urban area, um, so I'm taking a pounding on that. So that's not working out well at all. Uh, I'm st it's still making money, but about a quarter of what it was when I first got it. Um, so that's no bueno. And then... The other anomaly for this month, uh, it's still going, I think it's going to go out through most of this year. Pre-search is doing airdrops for note holders. So I got my base drop of 318, and then 9.32 was the additional for the additional stake since they started that program, which we'll see in the node rewards. And then the other thing was a beginning of the month I had um, Flux Titan nodes come due. Uh, so I've been doing three-month intervals with those. And if we see on here, this box here to 28.38, that was my Titan node claim for three months. So $1.20, what's it worth? So 34 bucks at the time, basically it was worth, well, it was worth $29 at the time, currently worth $34 is essentially what that works out to be. So that was, that was the main changes. But other than that, I haven't really switched mining the type of coins that I've been mining for the most part, it's been the same. Um, only doing Neoxa, earning Neoxa through the nodes, only earning Flux through nodes as well. And same thing with Presearch, but obviously Presearch you can't mine anyway. Um, as far as the rigs, as far as what they're mining, that's all pretty much been the same most of the month. Same type coins, maybe moved a couple things around, like other than, like I said, about the, the Meow coin and that type of thing. Because I think I decided I'm going to use my 1660 Ti rig as my spec mining rig. And then once I get to... My goal is a million, million uh, Meow coin. Once they get to a million Meow coin, then I'll switch it off to something else. And I'm currently solo mining on Wooly Pooly because uh, it seems like it's been working better. Uh, I got 11.8K 11, 11 sitting there and received 21K and a 20,800 payout already. And I've really only been mining here 29th. It's only been a couple days. It hasn't been all that long. Um, that I've been mining on Wooly Pulley. And it, it's been smashing some blocks. Actually, I could probably even tell here the first block I hit solo. Those were when I was PP and LNS. In this pool. So, yeah, March, March 29th. So there's two blocks there. So 
So 17 blocks total since I've been mi solo mining on Meowcoin in a couple days. So that is doing well. As you can see today, three blocks, two of them not the greatest. That one was pretty good, pretty good, not so good, 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 so on and so forth. So can't complain. That's been doing well. Uh, I should probably create a spreadsheet just to kind of track my luck, average luck, so as it keeps going on and see how that works out. But other than that, I'll go back to the here. Lithium for the month. I mined 302 lithium. I did just re receive an lithium payout this morning. Uh, but like I said, I've been since I've been doing this spreadsheet, I only count the payments when they hit my wallet. So that's an April payment. Uh, so for the month of March, 302 for 894 bucks. That was... The second best earning, third, yeah, second best earning coin, Bitcoin. I think this is the first month that is topped a thousand, with USD value of a thousand, um, almost 0 0.015, just shy of it. Um, BTC earned for the month, accounted for about 30 percent, and 100 Dynex for 86 bucks. It's pretty much just the 2070s left on Dynex right now. Uh, 79.9, just under 79.95 flux for 91 dollars. That does include the uh, 30 bucks or so for the airdrop, so say $60 for the node. It cost me 28 to run, so it's actually profitable, and that does not count the parallel assets because I did not claim them. Just I might not do that until the end of the year. Or... Not sure it is because you get crushed on fees. So they hammer you on the fusion fees. But anyway, uh, next is Casper. Or mine 5,000 Casper for the month for $733. 33,750 Neoxa for 119, 40 Octospace for 57. Pac Man, I didn't get any payments with Pac Man because on K1 pool, uh, it goes to 30 Pac Man. So it takes a while to get up to 30 Pac Man to receive a payout. Um, so I won't be have a payout there. I have about 23, I think, sitting. Sorry, the flashbang is here. Ooh, dark mode, dark mode, dark mode. There we go. Yeah, 23 sitting. And uh, I just received a payout from Octospace this morning as well. Again, April payment. And let's go to Radiant. Uh, my 30,000 Radiant for the month for a total of value of 74 bucks. Chia, 0 0.075 Chia. The having even hurt my rewards even more. I forgot to mention that earlier with the Chia having. Don't know if it was in March or if the end of February, but it was just recently. And I just had the Evergreen Starter Kit six terabyte kit I guess it is I don't even know what the hell it is it's one of the basic starter kits so that was $4.99 that is nowhere near paying itself off luckily I, could, I wrote that off because if I had to do that over again I would not because uh, the return on that is so long so um, but it doesn't use a whole lot of power so I'm just going to keep it running and whatever so and then next is Zephyr Mine for Zephyr for the month for a total value of 80 bucks, And for most of the month was the 3700X, 3900X, and the 25900s. Um, most recently, I did switch over my 5900 over to Varus coin. Snack a few more of those. And then 4000 Zillica. I don't think I made any Zill claim. Oh, yeah, I did. I did make, make a Zill claim up here on the third of the month for 505 Zillica. That was a uh, staking claim is what that was for. And then I just re staked it essentially so um, i'm staking through zill pay wallet and that's where the, getting the staking rewards i think my game plan is i'm close to thirty thousand zillica what i'll probably do is get the 30k and then any more zillica rewards i get probably to sell them uh, just take the us dollar for it Sw swapping into usdt and i don't know buy chlor or buy more radiant or buy something else that i want so that might be the game plan for that going forward. Then let's go back down here. Pre-search, 636 pre-search for the month. 328 of that is from the node, which was here, 327 of it. The rest of it was from just the normal payouts. Meowcoin, 266,564 Meowcoin for a value of 71 bucks. That was mine for the month. And then 25,475 mobile tokens for $95 for the month so and if we just take a brief quick over here my helium there was an I had an issue with the wallet claiming on the weekend of the 16th so then I ended up ma making just letting it stack up for two weeks so I made the claim here on the 24th for 6500 but 
as you can see, 13,000, 10,000, 12,000, 11,000, cut in half, and now it's down to 2,600. So that's a huge, huge drop. Um, I also have IoT, which I did not claim yet, because it's only 250 IoT that I earned from my uh, minted black spot miner or whatever the hell that thing is. So that's not much. I may even just do that quarterly or every six months. I have to figure that part out yet because that's it might not even be worth claiming. So let's go back to March. And the total revenue for the month was $3,518.05. And its current value is, let's actually give it just a refresh here on stream. I think I did this not that long ago, but we'll do it again. It doesn't take that long. Repulling the API. Went down a tiny bit more. Um, the current value is $3,221.56. So if I sold everything I mined for the month of March right now, I would have a capital loss of two ninety six, dollars which I'm not doing. I'm mining the stack and the stack and accumulating coins. Let's go check out the electricity tab. Electricity bill for the month was $1,274.47. I used 14,059 kilowatts. On average, it worked out to be 0 0.0907 cents, up a little bit from... Um, February, uh, just because the, the switch over to plans. The 1660 TIs, that started using a lot more power, I, which makes sense because I switched them to uh, a Kapow algorithm for Meowcoin. The 2070s use a little bit more power. I kind of equate that to maybe get the house being a little bit warmer, temps being a little bit warmer. Um, never turned the AC on yet in the house because it's still March and it's still cold, but uh, they just have to maybe open a window in that room where it is more, uh, get let some more cold air in. And uh, 3070 TIs, they have been on um, lithium the whole entire time. It's, de it's higher from February, so we had two more days in March than there was in February. Plus, there was actually two days in um, February that I had no power. So some of the February power usage numbers will be lower than what they should have been just because there's a couple days I had nothing running because I did, didn't power, I lost power with a uh, snowstorm. So the total power used for mining is $1,191.27. So let's go take a look at the income statement for the month. Mining income is $3,276.09 for just strictly mining. Node income. Node income I also have in there is the airdrops from pre-search because that's pretty much from the pre-search nodes is running that. It's what I earned that for. So I just added it in there. It also includes the staking rewards from Zillica, which I guess that might be DeFi, but since whatever, same thing to me. Staking, it's locked up, whatever. I just put it in nodes. Either way, it's accounted for. Um, and then the last part is the flux nodes and the oxy nodes are in there for income. And then DeFi, nothing. Uh, there's Ergo's only doing, I think, Ergo and the SPF token for the liquidity farming and stuff where you get rewards. And I didn't swap over the sigma usd to there you go so i just had the same money just sitting there kind of just not doing a whole lot um and i realized i actually had the math wrong here for the hosting was 40 bucks i had it actually at 38 the last couple of months so the, that was actually incorrect I'm surprised nobody pointed it out but you got 28 34 40 for some reason i thought it was 38 i can't do math for whatever reason but the profit for the month is two thousand two hundred eighty six dollars and seventy eight cents Profit for the year so far is $5,203.62. Not too shabby. So pacing to make 20800 or so for the year net. So that is pretty damn good. Uh, definitely won't be complaining about that. But that, as we all know, with the Bitcoin having is going to change next month. Actually, this month, probably in two weeks or so. So the days of making $1,000 a month in Bitcoin, I think those will be over unless we have a substantial price pump, which... Hopefully we do, um, but I have a feeling we're, we'll see a decrease before a massive increase. That's just my gut feeling. Because um, what goes up must come down, just as long as it doesn't go down as far as it came up. And it's like levels out, sets a, sets a higher low, and then starts hitting higher highs, and onwards and upwards will be nice. So, But that is pretty much all that's going on for March to have nothing really super exciting or anything like that. Um, kind of depressing that the helium mobile rewards dropped so much. Um, I think I can move that. 
uh, to my fiance's place. Um, she is in more of an urban area. And with like the footfall and uh, all the different urbanization hexes and all that kind of nonsense that they start, start it, should be able to get greater rewards. But then I also think her internet speed is not quite as good as what mine is. So may not be able to get to over a 100 meg download. Not sure. I have to go up there and mess around and see what I can do. And uh, so that's an option. Because pretty much even if I, because I didn't put it on my roof yet. And if, even if I would put it on my roof, it's not going to matter. Because I'm out in the sticks. Um, the hobbyist miner stopped by here, so he knows where I'm at. He knows I'm kind of in the middle of freaking nowhere, so. Which is not a bad thing. I actually, I like, actually like that fact. Uh, I like being out in the middle of nowhere. When the only thing I have to worry about is deer walking around the yard, neighbor's chickens, and shit like that. So, um, kind of like it. Well, I'm going to close this brave notification before I click on that by accident. But yeah. Overall profitability for the month of March was pretty dang good. Can't really complain at all for the most part. So um, this month will be interesting to see what happens. I'm kind of curious. I didn't decide yet what I'm going to do with my S19s. Uh, I think obviously I'm going to down tune the S19K Pro and make that more efficient uh, to make that break even to slightly profitable. The, K, the J Pro Plus 120, not sure if I'm going to be able to get that to be efficient at all so i might have to send that out for hosting at a lower power rate if if it's feasible um i may even just crank everything down to make them as quick as efficient as possible and just give it some time to see what the difficulty adjustment does and see if there's any hash rate that falls off don't know because now bitmain, bitmain announced the s21 pros at 234 tera hash so who knows I have to kind of wait and see and see what happens. Um, typically, hash rate would fall off after the halving. But, and like, if you look at some of the hive stats and stuff like that, like, there's still a shit ton of S9s that are still running. So I would think they would have to fall off. I don't think anybody, people could keep running those things. Um, even if you had stupid cheap power, there's no way they could be anywhere remotely close to even profitable, but... Haven't really done all the math on, but just logically, you would think they would not be making any money. But time will tell, and we got a few weeks to the having, and we'll be able to see some results at the end of April, and and uh, we'll go over what we did, what we shut off, what we down tuned, whatever, just to, to make it more efficient, and then we'll go from there. But until the next video, we'll catch you later.